Hotel, pick the number as well. Bob Hotel, right? Stand by, we'll get one for both. Yeah. Those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys already know my roots run pretty deep in motocross. Uh, I work in the industry and I grew up riding motocross at a very young age. So I've been wanting to take you guys to check out the Fox Racing headquarters for a while. It's fairly close to my work and, and we're going to go check it out. It's uh, drizzling a little bit right now, so if you see any haze on the camera lens, now you know why. So speaking of moto, how about the Americans putting the smack down on the Europeans at the uh, MXGP race at Glen Helen over the weekend. Jeremy Martin throwing down a second. Uh, he had his hands full of uh, Jeffrey Hurlings. That guy's just a, a beast, man. And then Eli Tomac in the 450 class ended up going 1-1. Uh, his second moto was insane. He got like a mid-pack start. He was like an 11th or 15th or something like that. And he charged all the way to the front, passed up Tony Caroli, and you know, with a couple laps left or whatever was left, and he was just gone at the end. Speaking of Anthony Caroli, uh, last week before the GP, I'm at work and I'm got my face on my computer and I'm. I hear a crowd of people getting an escort through our building. I look up and it's Tony Caroli standing in front of me. And I was like, so taken back. I mean, I don't get starstruck very easily. The last thing I expected to do was look up and see him and standing right in front of me. So I was just kind of like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, and, and you know, he's got that big smile of his. And, and uh, I gave him a big, strong American handshake. Uh, I should have got a selfie with him, but he was with a Greek, big group of people being led through the building and I'm not the pushy type, so I was just kind of like, uh, God, I want to pop a wheelie so bad right now. I need to legalize wheelies. Okay, so let me tell you about Fox Racing. Um, in the back area, outside of the building, they have like these little motocross tracks. I don't know if they run like minis on them or what. And there's like a like a lounge area to eat and stuff. I've never been there. I've only seen it on Google Maps or actually Google Earth. And then inside the building, you can come through the front door, and there's actually a store that's open to the public. And so we're gonna go in there and check it out. That's the back where they keep their trucks and stuff. So I was told they modeled the front of that building, that entrance, that crazy shape right there after their, uh, one of the noses on their helmets. <laughs> Must be pretty nice to have motorcycle parking at your work. I don't have that. Well, I kind of do.